Welcome to Indian Wells, California, home of the 2021 Margaritaville USA Pickleball National Championships, presented by Pickleball Central. Join us as the world's best players compete to earn cash prizes and the coveted title of national champion. This amazing action is brought to you by the city of Indian Wells, Franklin, Vila, Selkirk, Paddletech, Rockin' Protein, Takea, Superior Labs, Pro XR Pickleball, Franklin X40, and Margaritaville Pickleball by Head. And welcome to the greatest environment, the greatest atmosphere in all of pickleball. It's Margaritaville USA Pickleball National Championships. Cameron Irwin alongside Dominic Catalano. And it is time to get mixed pro bronze medal matchups out on the court. And I know you're gearing up for this one. How stoked are you? Oh my gosh, Annalee Waters, Tyson McGuffin <laughs> taking on the Newmans again. I mean, this is gonna be a lot of fun. The first matchup between them earlier today was intense and incredible. I'm expecting nothing less here. Well, that's what we well, might that's what we goal, might see in the final. For well, the bronze. For the bronze, we got against Lucy Kovalova yeah. and Matt Wright, right? So they're trying to get back to that match, but against Lucy Kovalova and Matt Wright, you just expect the same thing. You're going to see that Anna Lee and Lucy battle. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Well, and then not to mention Anna Lee, she just had to face off against her mother for the play into the bronze. So you can imagine that was a very fun matchup to get to watch. I know, and both of them don't like playing that match, so. <laughs> it's fun all around here at Margaritaville USA Pickleball National Championships, and today is a very special day because it is Military Appreciation Day here at Margaritaville. So we want to give a huge Welcome thank you to, to the great men and women who tirelessly USA protect Pickleball this country. And today we have a very special national anthem Pickleball singer, 16-year-old out of Palm Springs High School, Angela Lee Thank you for standing Man for the national Charis. anthem. Performed by a 16-year-old student from Palm Springs High School, Angeli Manjaris. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars Military Appreciation Day, day here at Margaritaville, and check this out, a flyover. from the United States Marine Corps. God bless you. A C-47 from the Palm Springs Air, Air Museum over flight. And did I mention it's the best environment in all of pickleball? The stands have been filled, and we are about ready to rock and roll again. Cameron Irwin alongside Dominic Catalano, and this will be our bronze medal matchup. Anna Lee 
and Tyson McGuffin. You so they much. dropped you so that much. match you mentioned to the Newmans in the third round, and then they had to battle their way back in to get to this bronze medal matchup. So now they face Lucy Kovalova and Matt Wright, who just finished up a match, what, maybe 10 minutes or so ago? So yeah. talk about the turnover time for these athletes. All of a sudden, you lose a match to the Newmans, and you're back out on court against the buzzsaw that is McGuffin and Waters. Right, and exactly. And Tyson and Anna Lee are coming off of a victory. Lucy and Matt are coming off of a loss. So two totally different mindsets. Anna Lee and Tyson are up, are ready. They just won their last match. Lucy and Matt have to get back up now because they just lost a two-game match to the Newmans that dropped them down into this bronze medal match. So two totally different mindsets here. But if anyone can do that, it's Matt and Lucy. Um, they've been around the block before. They know what they, you know, they've been in this position before, so they know how to win. So it's going to be nothing for them to get back up for this match, but it's going to be the difference will be Lucy Kovalova and Annalie Waters. That's going to be the two difference makers in this match. All right, so you have just a little bit of a preview. We'll be sure to come back after this commercial break and give you a little bit more as our athletes are now getting warmed up here on Championship Court. Just a few short minutes away here at Margaritaville. Cameron Irwin alongside Dominic Catalano. And Dom, this is one of the premier tournaments of the year. Every single year you mark it off and you say, mm -hmm. all right, I want to show up to Margaritaville. What makes this place so special? It's just the venue itself, Indian Wells Tennis Garden. You know, you can, and I travel all over the country doing this and, and playing tournaments and I'm not playing anymore, but commentating for events. And you see all these beautiful new locations and everything. And you're like, oh, that's, be that's beautiful. That's so nice. So that's one of the best ones. That's one of the best ones until you get here. And then when you always come here, you're always like, yeah, nothing tops this. There's just, there's just something special. The electric, you know, atmosphere that as you can see here that we're looking at, the sea of people, everything is absolutely amazing. Nothing is better than Indian Wells Tennis Garden for the biggest event in pickleball. Well, and you can see it down on the court. Indian Wells just to the side of it. That's the location we're at. Beautiful Palm Desert. But warming up, you can see our Annalie Waters, Tyson McGuffin, and they're waiting for their opponent, Lucy Kovalova and Matt Wright. It is one versus six here at Margaritaville USA Pickleball National Championships presented by Pickleball Central. And you can see the stands are starting to fill in. And speaking of fill-in, we're going to let our audience fill in online as well. So stick around. We've got a few more minutes to go. Wow, it's so smooth. I love the little kick you get when you're going up any little hill. Wow, that was so much fun. It was fun, it was fast, it was easy to change gears. I would do this over a fat tire bike all day long. Nice ride. This thing has some torque, has some juice. It felt a little bit like what I imagine wearing a jetpack feel like. <laughs> Stay, play, and dine in Margaritaville. Escape while enjoying Margaritaville's signature casual luxury. Fun and laid back hospitality. Visit margaritavilleresorts.com.
Ben Johns, and I'm here to tell you why the pros prefer the Franklin X40 Pickleball. I really like the durability. It's pretty rare that I crack one of these. I really like the balance in the ball. I really love this ball because of the color. The visibility at any time during the day is always extremely easy to see. So I think it's not just for the players, it's also a great spectator ball. Go again, until you strike just right. Until the ball sings, until the other guy blinks, until the court's clear and the sun sets, until you see it in your sleep and wake up swinging. Go again, till you can't miss, until you can't lose. Go again and again. Out on the court now on championship court number one, Lucy Kovaleva, Matt Wright, Tyson McGuffin, and Anna Lee Waters. But how in the world did we get to this bronze medal matchup? Well, take a look. Here is your pro mixed doubles bracket, or at least a portion of it. And you can see Kovaleva, Wright, Waters, McGuffin down below. The winner bracket final that we just saw take place on this court, Newman's versus Kovaleva and Wright. And my goodness, that finished up in two. You got a chance to really dig into that one. Get calling that match, Tom. Yeah, it was an incredible match. In Lindsay and Riley came out really hot in game number one, but then Matt and Lucy answered in game two. But then it's I've used the term in the analogy a lot, not a lot today, but a couple times today. The Newmans are like Novocaine. Just give them time and it'll work, right? And that's exactly <laughs> what they do. They annoy you, right? And then you know, like Novocaine, it sticks around way too long. That's exactly what the Newmans are. They stick around too long. They annoy the heck out of you. And that's how they win. They just grind you out. And so that's what they've done today. Well, speaking of sticking around, they will be sticking around because they have made their way to the gold medal matchup. So the winner of this match out on the court right now will face them in our gold medal matchup. We'll come in right here on championship court number one. But we've talked a little bit about Anna Lee and Tyson. Give me a little bit more insight as to Lucy Kovalova and Matt Wright, their style of play. I know Lucy's deadly with her backhand. Yeah, Lucy Kovalova and Matt Wright will not shy away from playing the hard game. Lucy, a deadly, like you said, two-handed backhand. And Matt Wright is going to sit in the middle and look for his forehand. And what he does with that forehand, he rolls it over and tries to get a lot of topspin on that and force you to pop that ball up in the air for a mistake. So that's that Lucy Kovalova-Matt Wright combo right there. Well, you love it. And then their opponents on the other side. It's going to be very intriguing to see. Anna Lee Waters, one of the youngins in the game, just 15 years old. Yeah, that's right. In pickleball, we have got some youngsters playing at an elite, elite level. One of the best, not only in women's doubles, mixed doubles, but also an incredible singles player as well. Yep, she is, and that is absolutely right. One of the top players in the game, male or female. But before we get into Anna Lee right there, that's Jack Thomas on your right, former president of USA Pickleball here in attendance. All the big dogs are here. They're all coming out and got some <laughs> dancing going on. But back to Annalie Waters, one of the best players in the game. She is the future of this sport and playing with one of the pillars of the game in Tyson McGuffin as well. I, I love their combination, the styles. It allows Tyson to be free when Annalie goes hard, right? And that's exactly what's made them very successful and put them in the medal rounds today. Well, and it's so intriguing when we talk about about mixed play versus maybe men's or, or women's doubles, there's a lot of roles that take place and they're shaped. And it's interesting because you say, well, maybe the women is more the defensive player or the reset player. But a lot of times you look at on the court, something like Anna Lee, I mean, she's gearing up, speeding up the ball like a wild woman. Well, look at the, just look at the match. If you were able to see that, you know, go back on YouTube and watch it later on, not now, after this match. <laughs> but Anna Lee Waters and Tyson McGuffin against the Newmans earlier, they took game one, did Anna Annalie Waters and Tyson McGuffin, they took the first game. And the X factor in that game was Annalie Waters. She was sitting on that two-handed backhand and just driving it, ripping it, and there was no answer from the Newmans. But then they changed their game plan and they put Lindsay Newman opposite her instead of face up on her, and that changed the whole dynamic. And Annalie and Tyson weren't able to adjust fast enough, whereas Lindsay and Riley made the proper adjustment, and that's what put them in the winner's bracket final and then eventually into the gold medal match. 
Oh, I love it. Now we have officially set the scene for this bronze medal matchup. You've got your scouting report. You've got your rundown. Now we're getting closer and closer to that first serve. And I know in attendance, not only is it Anna Lee Waters, but her mom also here, oh. Lee Waters, who she just took down to get here. <laughs> so Hi, Mom. I love you. And now you lose. And there they are right there. That is Anna Lee, Anna Lee Waters' mom on the left. That's Lee Waters. And that is Grandma Gaga on the right. Um, they go everywhere with Anna Lee and Lee. A great support staff. Um, Stephen Husband is a couple rows up. He doesn't like really being in the mix. He likes, you know, sitting away and kind of taking in everything on his own. So, but it is a family affair when it comes to the waters. You gotta love it. One of my favorite interviews I think I've done this entire season was with Anna Lee and Lee Waters and just the enjoyment they have playing. They play women's doubles together and the joy they have. And I always ask us like, well, do you ever get on each other's nerves? Or like, is there any? And they're like, honestly, we've never gotten mad at one another while we're playing. And I go, yeah, it's me probably because you'd be a little scared that you're going to get grounded if you said anything bad to your mom. <laughs> you don't want to mouth off to mom, right? That's the <laughs> last that thing. Not would, but just funny to think about. <laughs> yes, exactly. But no, they've been playing doubles together for about, I want to say, three or four years now. The first year that Lee and Annalie got into pickleball, they didn't play together. Annalie was still playing at that 4-5 level, but then as soon as Annalie started playing at that pro level, they teamed up and it has been all Lee and Anna Lee water since then. I get a little wave from Anna Lee right there for your camera. Looks like all four can jump it around as the rest of our stands are doing the exact same thing. Grab a margarita, grab a paddle, and grab a pickleball. Let's get to it. We have on the call Larry Scott, your Larry USA Sons. Pickleball certified referee, and the support is Who's Mike Kunkus from right Chico, California. Tyson, look out, let's hear a round of applause. Right. Larry Scott out of Fort Myers, Florida. Game planning already from Lucy Kovalova, having an extra conversation. The paddle shield is always my favorite. <laughs> I'm not that great of a lip reader, though, so. No, I'm terrible at it. <laughs> Annalie to serve. I think that might have even come off her foot. Yeah, it looked like off her front toe with left foot. Quick side out, Kovalova, right. Zero, zero, one. There's that battle we talked about in pregame. It's the Anna Lee Waters versus Lucy Kovalova cross court. When you're going to see Kovalova really reaching in beyond the kitchen line, she gets awfully low. Drive gone long. Well, nice. I like a drive gone wrong. Come on now. Yeah, that similar. Hey, that's, that's good, Cam. <laughs> Thank that's you. Good. I didn't even get a chuckle out of you're, you, Doc. You're starting early. <laughs> <laughs> you got a long night. crowd just erupted and you can see too as she shifts I love those replays just one backhand after another and she continues to move to that right side really opening it up Speed, speed up, just long. I like the reach in from McGuffin here. It's a good shot. He just needs to take a little bit off of that right there. Neither Kovalova or Wright is gonna get a paddle on that. Just gotta take a little off. One, two, one, two. Oh. 
Kind of interesting there, Kovalova playing into Tyson McGuffin's favorite thing, playing the inside out when he's playing singles. Right. Intriguing. Zero, one, one. The only issue is that Matt Wright's on the other side for that inside out, so. Oh, yeah. Too much on it for Kovalova. Zero, one, two. Couple of volleys in a row. Inbounds. Speed up cross court and it's wide. So all Matt Wright's trying to do right there, he's either trying to hit Tyson, he really is in the chest, or force Tyson to block that, right? He's not trying to hit a winner there. It's a smart play by Matt, but Tyson just able to get out of the way. That's where Kovalovin right need to go. You need to go to the Annalie Waters forehand. I know it sounds crazy, right? You want to stay away from her backhand, but you do because she's quicker resetting with that backhand than she is with the forehand. There's another great shot. To your point, Dom, they go straight to that forehand right away. Mm -hmm. She's even shifting, kind of pinching the amount of space she has between her and the line. Really looking for that backhand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right on the left hip of Tyson McGuffin. <laughs> and I always love you can hear the chatter down on, on the court afterwards. Yeah, okay, that was good. All right, I'll give you that. <laughs> oh, dots him in the left <laughs> hip. And that's Matt's, Matt Wright's bread and butter right there. He loves that backhand dink. He can slice that so good, force you to pop it up. He get so much spin on that ball from Kovalova. Great drop to get back in there. And yeah. Matt Wright stepping up big time. The drop, the approach shot, and the put away. And no words out of Matt Wright after that either. Right. Usually you get a big come on. He just had a little stare down. Yeah. That was it. Two, one, two. Score is 2-1-2. Two, one, two. her dinks yeah and you know this middle that's it's just not there you cannot attack that Kovalova two-handed backhand we've already talked about the <laughs> waters two-handed backhand don't go to sleep on the Kovalova two-handed backhand and a switch there as Annalise stays on the left Kovalova off to a very solid start. Come on! And the Ernie. There's the come on, but it's coming from the 15 year old. Great anticipation to Kovalova. Nothing she can do about that right there. His water's waited till the last minute to actually jump, and that's the athleticism. to her left. 
left opening up the forehand and the counter. Well, that's it. She just, again, we've talked about it earlier, she opens up those hips. And what she does, she clears the hips and creates space so she can actually extend that arm and put that ball away. Some net love for McGuffin. And that letting that get behind him, you could see the adjustment there. He tried to wrist it over. Mm -hmm. That's a great pressure dink by Kovalova. Annalie goes with the drop. Great setup by Matt Wright and finish. He's just so big and long and lengthy, and he can just reach in there and take all those out of the air. He's it, had some success going um, down the line, regardless of if it's McGuffin or Anna Lee. Mm -hmm. almost broke that ball twice. Great hands from both sides. Matt Wright calling the ball long, but it's on the body of Kovalova. go there, especially from the position. Watch where Matt Wright hits his ball from, from transition. Annalie has so much time to set up with that two in and back and a big high five to McGuffin. I'm just still chuckling because Matt just smiled and said a few words to Annalie like, did you like that? Was it high enough? Was that good enough? <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah! How about that angle? From the center line to the sideline. I don't even know how you hit that. Watch her wrap this around. Just roll that nice and easy. Take something off. It doesn't hit it 100%. She's at 100%, she's gonna hit the sideline. the right leg of Lee Waters. The big come on from Matt Wright. I'm having a hard time talking. I'm enjoying their banter more than anything yep. else. And Matt Wright again leveling up. Yeah, watch the big man just come in here. Beautiful. Five, three, one. Tries to handcuff him, and Matt Wright starting to chip a little bit more now. Yep, he is feeling it. You see the bounce in this step every time they get another point. This game is so much about rhythm and momentum. And right now, Tyson McGuffin is doing his best to slow that of Kovalova and Wright. I mean, that's much needed right there, but yet that's only, you know, first serve. Now they're on second serve, so you got to hold another here. You feel like you have a stop, and then you're like, oh, it was only first server. The beautiful gotta, thing of pickleball. We gotta do this again. Decision. I don't think it's a right decision there for Lucy. She's trying to reach way in, fully extended, and try and wrap that back in. I think she got caught. She wasn't able to move those feet very much. Mm -hmm. A couple 
couple short hops. Tries to flip it up the line, and Matt Wright is just sitting in wait. And again, he's using his length too, right there, right? So he's baiting you into going there, and then he uses his length just to slap that back down. And a good lead from Kovalova. Right, and so the, the only spot that I'm seeing right now that they have any chance of going to is the Kovalova forehand. You're going to the Kovalova backhand, and she's on every single ball that you're hitting right now, right? So you gotta go to the forehand, so they gotta dink to the forehand, and if McGuffin's gonna attack it, attack the forehand. Don't attack her yeah. backhand right now, she's sitting on the two-hander. Yep. So I wanna see Tyson try, maybe attack her forehand. It's a balance of playing to your strengths and their weaknesses. So Annalie feeling like she's really steady up the line. She feels like that's to her advantage, even though that Kovalova forehand, it's all the way across the court. And the more and more we get into this, the more and more it is Annalie versus Matt Wright. Yep. Good hands from McGuffin right there on the block. And I mean, just nice and easy reset that, keep that low and make it difficult for Matt Wright. Right on his left shoulder too, incredible control. Another great block and reset, ball out of bounds. McGuffin doing his best, keeping the ball alive. Just got too far in on him. This is a, too much of a short hop. You can short hop that out in front of you, kind of roll that over, but he gets that in on his body. It's tough. And he's trying to pull it back towards Lucy's forehand. Tinks just about six inches above the height of the net. Nice, off the top of the tape and McGuffin taking advantage. And so we talk about how we're gonna attack the Kovalova forehand. It's gotta come from a cross court thing from right. right. So how do you get the ball to him? So you gotta, Annalise gotta flat it out to him and then let right dink cross court. And he is a couple times, but we gotta see McGuffin try and take advantage of that. Annalie resets to right. And she does every few balls. Mm -hmm. There. McGuffin's just got to anticipate it. And there you go. Wow. Another, it's, it's due to the backhand, but anytime yeah. we can get McGuffin the ball. Yeah, just grinding it out right now, and that's exactly what McGuffin and Waters are doing. And right back in this cam, 6-6. Six, six. Yeah. Oh, miscommunication. So what McGuffin and Waters are doing is they're recognizing that speeding it up is not working, right? Yeah. But they like to do that, but it's killing them that they can't because Kovalov and Wright are all over it. So they're elongating these points, doing a good job of it. Wait the counter. Oh, and that's why. Their speed up, she's sitting right there. Yeah. Incredible from Ko Kovalova. It's the backhand. And he's trying to get to the forehand, but can't get there. tricklers for McGuffin. Sticking 
with right a little bit more. Yeah! There it is. Patience is paying off. Yes. Seven, six, two. When will the error come? Who's going to be impatient enough to take this? Yeah. There so it is. Lucy started it, McGuffin ends it. They're just sitting in wait. McGuffin and Waters doing a very nice job at the patience game. Emily Waters is playing with the paddle tech paddle, Bantam TS5. Yep, nice shot. Ball in bounds. I think that surprised everyone here. Yeah, I don't think, I thought that they were going to overhit that and doesn't. <laughs> Such a controlled shot. And a rare miss on a third from Annalie Waters. Seven, six, one. Too quick. from right working his feet around and there that's what he was waiting for we've been talking about it right and so even though that was to the forehand side right yep. so it, it gets to her right hip right so she does hit it with her backhand but she can't attack that with the backhand so that's the spot Matt Wright isn't taking more of those middle balls from Kovalova. Mm -hmm. Some of those forehand dinks on his side. There's a lot of balls that have been reset back to the middle from Waters and McGuffin. So Lucy gets to the forehand there. That ball might have gone a little long. I don't know. It was up around the shoulder height of McGuffin. Not sure if Kovalova really got all of it. But after the waters tie it up, Kovalova and Wright take a three-point lead. They go on a 3-0 run of their own. So then a one versus six seed playing on championship court number one in our bronze medal matchup for the mixed pro doubles. An incredible rally from Waters and McGuffin to get the six point mark. But now they've got a little bit more work to do. Cameron Irwin alongside Dominic Catalano. And you can see how amazing this crowd is. I mean, take a look, that's just the lower bowl. There's a whole other side in view. Whether it's above our broadcast position, the stands at the back of the court as well. Well, right and left, I mean, this place is filled. Absolutely. Why wouldn't you be for, I mean, two of the best teams in pickleball right now trying to vie for the right to play Lindsay and Riley Newman, who are sitting pretty in that gold medal match. You know, it's fun to watch uh, Matt Wright play. One of the things that really sticks out to me is his ability kind of does the same thing where he shifts to hit his forehand.
forehand on that backhand side, and it seems really deceptive. I keep seeing him shift over going, oh my goodness, is he going to speed up the ball or is he mm -hmm. not? Is he going to deep cross court? Yep. Is he going to whip it up the line? I mean, he hasn't sped up the ball that often. Would you maybe expect that, or is that kind of his MO? No, that's his MO. He likes to do that, but then every once in a while, he just flicks that little roll in, right? Okay. And with that roll, too, he's just trying to make you block it, pop it up, and then he can just come in and put that away. Nine, nine, six, two. So Kovalova and Wright ahead by three and back out game number one of your bronze medal matchup. Nice pressure dink from McGuffin right there. Out of the timeout, great timeout. Six, nine, one. And a little extra love for McGuffin. When you need it the most, there it comes. And on 6 9 to get within two. Seven, nine, one. Yep. And some more pace, Lucy Kovalova. Second serve. Seven, nine, two. And the ha call from Matt Wright. <laughs> ha, try me again. I love it. <laughs> he was not fooled. <gasps> Losing her footing is Kovalova. <clears throat> Aiming for that right foot is Tyson McGuffin. Nine, seven, two. Yeah. Come on. Cross court speed up. We have yet to see that in game one from yeah. Anna Lee Waters. Yep. And there it was. Good time for it, too. Down 9 7. Earn the side out. Got one last time. Start chipping away some more here. Most of the speed ups have been down the line. No, 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 no. <laughs> Matt Wright making sure Lucy does not hit that ball. There have been some pretty good calls out here on championship <laughs> court. I think uh, Lindsay and Riley Newman were pretty entertaining. Some out calls between the two of them. They just yell at each other. <laughs> Defended Ernie. Some more defense from McGuffin. Yes, taking him out of the air. Incredible volleys. Way to get back in this point. Oh, and aiming for the right shoulder of Matt Wright, and he doesn't fall for it. Nine seven one. Speed up, and she's sitting on that backhand. It worked just about two balls ago. This time, the adjustment from Kovalova. All right, and the speed up to the backhand, that's the wrong spot right there, right? And so, as soon as you go to that spot on Kovalova, when she's sitting on it, that's just trouble. Well, and it's hard when you're spe speeding up the ball cross court. That's the shortest distance to the sideline, right? So you don't have a ton of room to work with. So you're either looking to body bag them, or how do you even find that forehand side on a cross court speed up? Right, exactly. It's hard to because you can't hit it 100%. Yeah. So you have to hit it about 60%. So that's the difference. Another timeout called by Waters and McGuffin. Just in game one action here at Margaritaville USA Pickleball National Championships presented by Pickleball Central. And Annalie Waters walking over to Lee Waters. Maybe asking for a little advice, a little extra conversation. Get some coaching. 
Well, there's a little talking going on as the teams crossed paths at the bench. And Tyson getting Anna Lee back in here going, don't worry about it. So there was some talking going on between all four players as they crossed paths. Not sure what it was, but it's game point here for Kovalova and Wright. Last dance, right, Dom? Yep. And a little yep call from Matt Wright to finish it off. Game number one going to the number one seed, Lucy Kovalova and Matt Wright. As they're trying to work their way back into the gold medal matchup, which will be coming up <laughs> on championship court number one. The Newmans are sitting and waiting. You can guarantee they're kind of watching to see who Ladies is going to be matching up against them. But we'll have winter, game of two action coming up after this. Some extra VIP seating here on championship court number one. This is the 2021 Margaritaville USA Pickleball National Championships. We're coming to you live from the beautiful Indian Wells out in the desert of California. We have had multiple days of coverage. Three streaming courts all day long. That is Mark Pfeiffer, your USA Pickleball head of referees. They're honoring him as he is one of our veterans here as well. A great deal of thanks to him and all that he has done. Meanwhile, out on championship court number one. Game number two just about to get underway. Lucy Kovalova will start us off. Very aggressive dink. Mm. How about as, that from Annalie Waters? As ambitious of Kovalova to think she was going to get that. That really wasn't that far wide. She took a full hack at that, though, and hard off the post. Zero, zero, one. Good spot there from McGuffin, and again, not allowing Kovalova to get extended. Watch him go right at the body. Hit her hand. Yeah, that does not feel good, I will tell you that much. <laughs> She's gonna be shaking that one off for a while. Nope. That's the right shot for McGuffin. But just tries to hit it too hard. But that's what Kovalov and Wright make you do. They make you really try and hit winners because they get so much back. That's a big point right there for Anna Lee and Tyson McGuffin up the line. Saw a few of those early in game number one against Matt Wright. Matt made the adjustment. Still working that middle zone. Occasionally tossing one to the far sideline for Kovalova. And a great way to come back in as the lights turn on here in the stadium. Great digs from Kovalova, but finally McGuffin able to find a hole in the middle. Three, two, one, two. Kovalova continuing to shift around the edge of the kitchen. A lot more no, movement. No, no. Right, Kovalova actually tried to hit that with the backhand. She misses it. It goes out. So Waters and McGuffin on top. Zero, three, one. Much better start. No. 
a great roll again. That's the second dink we've seen. Very aggressive from Anna Lee that's forced Kovalova extra wide. I know Kovalova try again, tries again for the around the post there, but I don't think it was there there either because of Anna Lee's angle. I think it's more out of a latency than anything. Yep. Go, my bad. But she set that up for Kovalova off that her last shot. One, three, two. Another nice block from McGuffin. Both teams getting a little more active with their feet, working around the kitchen edge. And uh, Lucy Kovalova shaking her fist at the net, saying, yeah, that's right. But I think there's a little bit of frustration there. Yes. No. Yes. I think Anna Lee, though, has got a little bit of an advantage there on those uh, aggressive well, she, forehand dinks. She had Kovalova she wherever had she wanted. Her. She missed off the top of the tape. And another one, you're starting to see that pattern more and more often. The flick to Kovalova. You can see a little bit of that, what we call chicken wing. <laughs> Good finish from McGuffin on the backhand side. Three, two, one. And the poach, the first poach we've seen, and Anna Lee just smiles. I love it. She's just doing her job right now. They take a two-point lead. It just sails long. Four, two. Anna Lee to serve. Four, two, two. That's a great spot from Kovalova right there. Why? What makes that so difficult? Low at her feet, at Anna Lee's feet. Just so hard. She's either got to take a step back, play it off the bounce, or when she gets that out of the air, it just makes it so difficult. Only thing you can do is hit up on it. There it is again. McGuffin fighting off a few now. Lob, we've only seen about one or two. Looking to work his way back. And how about that angle, inside out, and maybe just a few inches above the ground after the bounce. You watch Matt Wright run around that forehand. Just such a good shot. He just doesn't try and do too much with it. A little different drive from yeah. Kovalova as Matt Wright poaches. Wow, watch him just close ground here. Reads it so well. Goes to the sideline, all tied at four. Nice grab in the front row. And every single time somebody wins a hands battle, there are daggers being sent across the net. <laughs> I'm glad I'm up here. I'm loving it. Bunch of competitors yeah, out there. It's getting tense out there. You can't blame them fighting no. for, for, for bronze and for gold. For a shot at a national title. Five, four, two. And a change of pace. 
sometimes, you know, if you're dinking, you're starting to get a little bit of a rhythm. You start seeing that same speed over and over. And that time, Annalie actually taking a little bit off. Yep. Different bounce, different trajectory. But you talk about that, Cam, you know, changing pace, right? Every sport, you think about it, is about disrupting timing, right? You want to disrupt your opponent's timing. Baseball players, pitchers throw fastballs, curveballs, change-ups. That's a great point. You know, football players, when you jam a receiver at the line or you let them go. You know, everything's about disrupting timing. And no different in pickleball. Disrupt your opponent's timing by giving them hard or soft. You know, hard dink, softer dink, changing up that pace. Different spins. No. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly it. Yeah. So, and if you can disrupt your opponent, the last thing you want to do, right? Any yeah. high level player in any sport, you don't want to give them a rhythm. You want to take them out of their rhythm. Six five one. Six five now. On first serve. That's why one reason I'm a big proponent of not dinking to the same spot over and over again. I'm gonna go sideline, sideline. All the time. Right, sideline, sideline, inside, sideline. Make them hit opponent. a different shot. Exactly. It's a great point. Also mix it in some of those drives as well as drops. Mm -hmm. Things again starting to go a little more and the direction of Waters and McGuffin. And right on cue cam, just like you said it, she changed the pace again, did Anna Lee. She didn't rip, you know, it was like four shots ago. She mm -hmm. kind of flipped the ball at Kovalova's feet in the transition area. And McGuffin gets chicken winged. Nice little run though for McGuffin and Waters as they take a two point lead. They need game two here in order to find three. I think that ended up on Kovalova's right hip a little early. Oh, I think Kovalova kind of stretched that left leg out and then shake it out there. Waters straight up with Kovalova. A little different look. Incredible block from Kovalova. Another yeah. speed up and a winner. Oh, and she comes up lame after the celebration. Kovalova's hurting right now. Yeah, she is favoring that right leg. Her left leg is something just off a little bit. She's fighting through it. And now Tyson's going to make her move. A couple beautiful resets from Kovalova. On one leg. And just wide. That was right in the sweet spot. Oh, I see Matt Wright come all the way over in the middle and cover for Kovalova right there. Yes. Tied up, seven apiece. Second server. Yes. They're forcing yeah. almost every ball. That's three straight for Kovalova and right, and they're aiming for that left leg. Wow, I mean, Kovalova is gritty right now, just grinding this out visibly hurt on that left leg. Don't know what happened. I have no idea, but right now she's doing a beautiful job. She's resetting the ball a little bit more often, just blocking that ball back each and every time. And right now it's paying off. Three point run for Kovalova and Wright. Yeah, just when it looked like, it seemed like, seemed like Waters and McGuffin had all the momentum up 7-5. Kovalova grits through three points to take a lead here. Crazy turn of events. Matt Wright already finds his way back out on court. Kovalova and Wright have had one heck of a tournament day already. They had a first round win by a withdrawal. 
And then they had to fight through Tereschenko and Dawson. That's Irina Tereschenko and Callan Dawson. They picked that up in just two games, 11-5, 11-9. And then they met Navratil and Coop with another victory. But that coming in three games, 6-11, 13-11, 11-6 to now find themselves, or then they found the Newmans, which we said, obviously, drop in the game there, to now find themselves here in the bronze medal matchup. So several matches played, if Lucy's hurting a little bit here. to redirect and again Lucy is staying so tough you can see it on her face she is hurting she's staying in each and every point Nine, Matt helping out stepping in a little earlier now you see that when she attacked that it was one-handed and she was on the right foot she would not push off that left foot she's leaned on the right foot totally different shot than we've seen all match. And a change up. Recognizing Anna Lee Waters poach, looking for that backhand and finds it instead on her forehand. High third, well defended. Side out from Annalie Waters as she went to the Kovalova backhand, but Kovalova was in transition. Not going to get hurt from there, and then she goes to the forehand. Eight, nine, two. A little poach from Tyson McGuffin. speed up cross court. Why is this so deceptive? Because it almost seems like she's going to attack at you, but she just flips it, right? It's not a full swing. She just uses that wrist, rolls that through the middle. It's a deception, rolling that ball through the middle, and all of a sudden, it's nine all. If I'm right in Kovalova, time out here. Have to regroup because you want to end this in two. If Lucy's hurting, you do not want this to go to a third game, but they're not going to take a timeout. It is now game point for McGuffin and Waters. Big defense, forcing the middle and then to the sideline. Can't chase that down a huge and very much needed side out for Kovalova and Wright. Aggressive dink from Kovalova. to go when they're dinking the Kovalov, you've got to go at the left leg. The left leg is what's hurt, so if she's going at the left leg, she's got to push off of it, right? If she goes outside, Lucy can lean on the, the right leg and she's fine. Yeah! Right? So she's got to go to that left leg because you're seeing when you dink to her left leg right now, she's tentative. Well, tentative nonetheless, 10 apiece. Oh, that one might have been the pop-up. See, and that was, she dinked at her left leg right there and got her to pop it up. 
as sharp as it can get. Keeping Matt Riot honest. Watcher flip back door on Matt Wright. She hides it so well right there. You must win by two. And right now, Waters and McGuffin are looking for game number three. It's a must have game. On to second server. Looking for an advantage. If you get one here, you're going to be feeling a lot better. I got to get one here. Yeah. And a little off speed, and they get one. Cam, you called it earlier, the off speed. That's exactly what it is. She did not hit that 100%. It dropped to her you know, thigh height instead of waist high. Game point, Waters and McGuffin. One heck of a dink from Matt Wright. That is a veteran pickleball player right there. What a spot. Just rolling off his paddle. That's set up by Annalie Waters going for the Ernie. So she goes for the Ernie. Matt Wright has to has to come back cross court. And he comes back cross court, pops it up, and allows McGuffin to put that away. So just some off ball movement can force mm -hmm. certain scenarios, different opportunities. It's a great call. Yeah. <laughs> Teamwork gets it done. I'm not even sure who hit that. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Team Waters McGuffin. Yep. <laughs> Another game point opportunity. What a return. Yeah! And instead of the backhand, it's the right pocket of Matt Wright. Waters and McGuffin are taking us to game number three. The whole Waters clan is standing on their feet with plenty of applause. Game number three coming from Indian Wells, Margaritaville, USA Pickleball National Championships. Match point, it's all up to me. Nothing can get in my way. And when they ask, what are you gonna do next? I'll say, I'm going. just right until the ball sings until the other guy blinks until the court's clear and the sun sets until you see it in your sleep and wake up swinging go again till you can't miss until you can't lose go again and again
We're not up yet, are we? Are we up? Very good. And we'll change in to 14 to 6. And game number three now about to get underway. Annalie Waters will serve. Ah, the flipper to the middle. What a shot down the middle again. Watch her just take this out of the air. Very nonchalant, nice and easy. And a different look too, a heads up with Lucy Kovalova. And you see Lucy Kovalova is ready for her to come right at her. And another quick flip. All of a sudden, Anna Lee is starting to pull the trigger. You see a little bounce in her step as she comes back. She is ready to go. Drive in the ball as well. Guns ablazing from McGuffin and Waters. And another speed up. Oh, here we go. He's barking. She's <laughs> yelling. Y'all better watch out. Three, two, two. And another. Oh, McGuffin is fired up right now. It's the silent growl now. This is a whole other level, 4-0. Make it five. I wanna know what was said in that last, <laughs> in the, in the uh, end of game conversation. On the clock on the board, match time, it was 53 when we started this game three. It's 55, two minutes in, 5-0 McGuffin and Waters. Well, we've seen so many extended rallies, right? Well, especially in game number two, the extended dink rallies over and over. And all of a sudden, we're only seeing rallies about four or five points. I mean, is it just a change of mentality of pulling the trigger, or is it more so that they're seeing more opportunities. It's, I think it's a little bit of both, right? They change a little bit of the approach. They need to change much because they win game two, but seeing those little opportunities of being able to attack, and right, McGuffin has attacked at Kovalova twice. He bodied her up one time, he hits her on the wrist another time on a ball she's trying to get out of the way of, and then a couple mistakes from Kovalova and right, and you're down 5-0, one point away from an end change in game three. One a point away from an end change is correct. Let's see if they can do it with just 56 minutes on the clock. Five in. Five, zero, two. I, I don't know. Like, I understand you go hard one, two, but like we, now we got to get into it, right? And don't get too far ahead of yourself. You can drive three and five, maybe slow down seven. Three and five, which is what you're talking about, the number of shots, right. obviously. Right, your third, third shot, fifth, fifth and then seven. seventh. You're getting into the pickleball lingo there, Dom. I like it. <laughs> Nice defense, and that one just wide off Tyson McGuffin. One, five, two. And then all of a sudden, just the crispness of Kovalova and Wright hasn't transferred into game three yet. Now, now playing from behind, another side out. Time they go at that left leg. It's almost a, it's almost a pop up from Kovalova. You know, she just doesn't want to plant on it. So, gotta recognize that. Go at it. Nothing personal, just business here. Go at the forehand of Kovalova with a drive. Redirect.
not thinking that bounced as high as she expected it to. Mm -hmm. Kovalova in right hold that serve. No points given up. That's huge for them right here. Now they got to turn that into points. What defense from Kovalova and Wright. Ball is out of bounds, but my goodness. How about the recognition, though, from McGuffin to say, oh my goodness, Matt Wright is off balance. We got to attack yeah. him. And what you're seeing, too, is Matt Wright cover more of the middle now. Mm -hmm. The middle is Kovalova's left leg. He's protecting it right now from her. He's taking more. You pointed it out earlier. He's not taking many of those in the middle earlier. Now he's taking more and protecting that spot. So watch if they go middle. Right he's, there. He's stepping over a little more now to take that ball because he knows she's not able to take that as well as she was earlier in the match. I like that little flip too. Very deceptive from right. Looks like it could speed up. Ends up being a dink winner. Two, five, two. Yes. Great counter, Matt Wright. He's got to take some incredible vision recognition. See that speed up, right, reading so your opponent. You're going to see Annalie Water stay. Now on her and Lucy straight up. Right there, Kovalova not able to get that. And like a jumping bean is Dyson McGuffin. <laughs> Check out this airtime. That's full credit card. <laughs> yeah, I was being nicer than that. Come on now. Oh, McGuffin showing his athleticism right there. Start adding jump training to your pickleball training. Number of lobs we've seen this weekend. Does it stay? No, it doesn't. What hands by both Wright and McGuffin. Water, Waters and McGuffin need this point. Get that momentum still. Oh, on the end change on their terms here up 6-3. Is there a difference in mentality as we head to this end change in terms of when you have serve and when you don't? So say you're playing from behind, you're Lucy and Matt, and next thing you know, we've got the serve. Do you play a little bit more aggressive or do you just play solid in terms of strategy doesn't change, same aspects, you stick with the scouting report? I think you do, I think it's a little bit, you, you flirt that fine line of, if I have the serve, I'm up 6-3 right now, like Annalie and Tyson are. Yeah. You can't play passive, right? Why? Because Kovalova and Wright are the ones on the ropes. So you have to put the pressure on them. You don't want them to get comfortable. Get them out of their comfort zone. Keep them uncomfortable because now put another point on the board. Now that gets in their head, right? Now it's seven. Now it's eight. Now you're three points away from ending this. Now they're going to be on their heels. So I think it's a little bit of stick with your game plan, but it's also be a little more aggressive here. Let's try and make a mistake off the paddle of, you know, or the left foot or left leg right now of Kovalova. And I said it earlier, nothing personal, just business. What yeah. I mean is, hey, you know, you see Kovalova's hurting a little bit on the left side. I'm sorry. We're playing for money here. I'm going at that left leg. You know, it, it's just it's nothing personal. Yeah. But if I see something like that, I have to go at it and exploit it. So maybe playing a little bit more free. Yeah. Now that you got a three-point advantage and serve. Tyson McGuffin finds the other sideline. Head up, and how about that? And I seriously think Stephen Waters, Annalise's dad, just jumped higher than Tyson McGuffin did on that last <laughs> overhead. Out of his chair after Annalise Waters put that ball away. What a finish. But what a, what a point by all four players. Annalise's ability to redirect the ball. Most people take the pickleball from the direction it's coming and send it right back that same line. But her ability to redirect is incredible. And another huge redirect up the line. 
Annalie Waters wow. taking it from one place and sending it to another. I mean, this is a game, it's ebbs and flows, it's ups and downs, it's runs. And you're seeing Waters and McGuffin on that run right now. A little miscommunication, ball still gets over the net. Off the right <laughs> leg of Larry Scott, our USA Pickleball certified referee. Somebody get him some shin guards. <laughs> Much needed side out for Kovalova and Wright. Block. Some finesse. And nearly there are the legs of Tyson McGuffin. Great touch from Matt Wright. Beautiful drop, control. He made it look very easy. That's such a difficult shot. Looks like Anna Lee might be uh, in need of a little bit of a Band-Aid. She's bleeding. <laughs> and currently asking the entirety of the crowd for a Band-Aid. And just forgot that mom in the front row has one. <laughs> Maybe scratching her hand on the bottom as she goes. Oh, oh and there's a Band-Aid. We, we, got, we what, found there's, one. There's like 10 people raising <laughs> Band-Aids up right now. <laughs> Shout out to the fans here at Margaritaville. They come out on top of this. Someone's going to want to autograph that. <laughs> oh, an autograph band-aid? I think we need to change the topic, Dom. Yeah, let's, maybe not. They want an autograph of Anna Lee because they used her band-aid. There you go. You know what I meant. <laughs> There's mom. Lee Waters trying to open it up for her. I've never called a play-by-play -play for a band-aid exchange. This is the first for me. Hey. Oh, the old things that only happen at Margaritaville. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we need to start a list. <laughs> Put that on the ESPN top 10. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. And the last one, you know, that wanted this kind of little delay was Waters and McGuffin. They're kind of reeling right now. They don't want that delay. We'll see what this little two minute delay Four, eight, one. Wow. That's three times here in game number three that McGuffin has found either the chicken wing yeah. of Lucy Kovalova or her body. And it's what started off with a 5-0 run by them. And you know, three of those came from that same spot. That time she's sitting on it. And good Matt, adjustment, Kovalova. And Matt Wright does such a good job of keeping that ball down right there. Instead of trying to overpower Annalie and let her swing away, gets it at her feet. They're going at that shot of Tyson McGuffin, trying to get him to punch block the ball back. It's kind of jumping up. Seen it several times successfully, but it's about that third one where they struggle a little bit more. Oh, and that's the presence of Matt Wright. You see him come over and attempt to poach that. Annalie Waters tried to make a perfect drop shot because of his presence. Well, and that's a great call. So it's 7-8-2 at this point. I'm gonna call a timeout, but the off ball movement, the person not getting the ball can still affect the game in so many different ways, whether it's the fake Ernie or shifting around the kitchen line, maybe it's the fake poach as well. But there's so many different levels of this game that continue to kind of progress and develop that being one of them. Yeah, absolutely. It's not always about the person you are hitting to or the person that's going to hit the ball. Your movement of your partner or your opponent's partner affects where you're going with the ball and what you want to do. So right there is a perfect example of it because Anna Lee was about to go cross court or maybe even she was going to go middle, I think, with that ball. But Matt Wright closed off that spot. She tries to go cross court last second and she makes a mistake into the net. And now Kovalova and Wright are within one. So you talk about timing. One of the other elements, it's not just the timing of 
necessarily hitting the ball or contacting the ball, but it's the timing of your thought process too. So all of a sudden you start to see somebody jump maybe into the middle or more towards that kitchen line and it's messing with, wait, maybe I shouldn't be making this shot. Right. It's changing the timing of your thought. And that's exactly what happens. And mentally, you're like, I know I want to go here. I know I want to go here. And then Matt shows up and you're like, I can't go there. <laughs> Just kidding. Right. Trying to make an adjustment. Well, so far, Kovalova and Wright just in the last few minutes making a steady adjustment yeah. now trailing by just one. This is the deciding game. Who will be going to the bronze or to the gold medal matchup? Oh. Annalie looking like a volleyball player. Oh. Oh. The ball has not hit the ground. And you see here, Lucy almost looking at Matt going, don't touch this last ball because I was there. Side out after the timeout. High third. The reset from McGuffin. Tough dink. And again, there's that same conversation. The Ernie, the attempted Ernie, Annalie walking around the kitchen line, he is forced into the lob and it goes long. Yep, that's exactly it. Looks well, like we planned that, Cam. McGuffin's ability to just chop the ball back down. McGuffin's starting to get fired. This place is about to explode. Couple off the net. How about that save? Lucy Kovalova, a huge rally. What a point. Some of these digs, absolutely incredible. All right, time to catch your breath because this game is yet to be finished. Tyson McGuffin still smiling, still fired up. He's facing right into the sun. A few more steps in, nice drop. Back up to the kitchen line as Waters and McGuffin put that ball. Hits the top of the net. No net love for McGuffin. Feels like this place just deflated. Sorry, Cam, I had to stand up. Like, I just can't. <laughs> I'm like on the edge of my seat right now. The anxiety continues to rise. How about that shot? Yeah! Paired off like a one-two punch, Kovalova and Wright. That step in the middle there from Matt Wright to finish that off. Beautiful reset. Yeah. And a 50% speed up in the middle. We've seen her so score so many points with that cross court ball. Eight, nine, two. There it is again. Change of pace. Finding that forehand sideline. 9 8. Waters and McGuffin. First serve. Didn't score last time on the side out. Have to score here. Put the pressure on Kovalova and Wright. <laughs> what a ball from Matt Wright here. Teach me your ways, Matt Wright. That just, thing is nasty. Just inside out. Nine, eight, two. Incredible shot. Oh, she wanted it. Yeah! A little extra oomph on that celebration from Matt Wright. Yeah, Annalie Waters, there was a ball early in that point. I thought she was going to attack it, and she backed off it. 
a huge hold. Kovalova's name enough that time playing a big we've been missing that two-handed backhand ninth point on the board for those two ladies playing straight up look for the overhead ball is called out of bounds and it's just long it is now 10-9 Another lead change. The number one seed, Lucy Kovalova and Matt Wright, are just one point away, and they maintain the serve. I mean, just a grind here. Anna Lee Waters and Tyson McGuffin were on nine for two serves, had four chances to get to 10, didn't do it, up 9-7, and now all of a sudden Kovalova and Wright up 10-9. I mean, how do you maintain just staying free in terms of your mentality, right? You're sitting there going, we had four shots, you're already frustrated with yourself. What do you have to say to yourself as you come back out on the court? Now it's tough, now it's all about a grind. You gotta keep everything in play, don't make any mistakes. The hard part is now they're on one. They have two opportunities here to end game three. And you have a Matt Wright that's nice and loose right now. He's playing loose. And now if he's in the middle, he is going to take his chances, right? He has game points. He's got nothing to lose here. This is where Matt Wright gets very dangerous. Time in. 10, 9, 1. Just long, Kovalova nearly falling to the ground in hopes to keep that ball in bounds. Oh my, that is barely long. Lots of murmurs at a second shot at match point. Can they hold another? the number one seed after a three-game absolute battle. 11-7, 12-10, They had to grind their way through. So congratulations to the number one seed as they will be moving on to the gold medal matchup and also to Annalie Waters, just 15 years old, and Tyson McGuffin. And they're going home with the pro mixed bronze. And I believe, Dom, you're heading down to the court. Time to get a little conversation with Kovalova and Wright. More coming to you from Margaritaville, USA Pickleball National Championships. All right, we are back here on Championship Court, the Margaritaville USA Pickleball National Championship presented by Pickleball Central. I am with Matt Wright and Lucy Kovalova after a grinding, grueling match against Tyson McGuffin and Anna Lee Waters. Congratulations. First and foremost, you guys are moving on to the gold medal match. Congratulations. Um, talk about that match. You know, you guys take game one. You lose a heartbreaker in game two, 12-10. Going into game three, let's skip right ahead to game three. You guys go down 5-0, you call timeout. What are you guys talking about there, Matt? I mean, at that point, you're, you're in a lot of trouble at 5-0 in the third. And we were just talking about, let's let's try to chip away before the turn at six points. Let's try to get the two, try to get the three. And we were able to do that. I think the turn was at 6-3. So we had a little bit of life again. Felt like we were back in it again. And these are such, you know, razor thin margins in matches like this. It comes down to execution. So you're just trying to say, look, 
just buckle down, minimize the errors, and let's just try to out-execute them. And if they out-execute out us, so be it. And Lucy, you know, you're, you're sitting on that two-handed backhand all day. You absolutely love that shot. We all know that. Everyone knows that. It's trying to take you out of that. But when they can't, you know, what, what are you going through in your mind? And then you, you looked like visibly a little frustrated on the left leg. We're not going to say anything. But what adjustments do you make when that's happening? Uh, as, far, as far as when you're, when you're hurting like that and you're trying to stay away from that. Well, at that point, I just need to get to the kitchen line, and then it was fine, you know, because yeah. I think just I'm not going to say anything for the opponents for a gold medal match, but no, I think we just need to, like Matt, as Matt says, like as soon as we get to the kitchen line, we're winning the points, so it's like that was our goal, so that's why we didn't drive many balls. We just dropped a ton, and then we got to the kitchen line, and then points played out our way. And Matt, at the end, it seemed like you made your presence felt a little more in the middle there. And you're always trying to do that, and it seemed like got away from that a little bit in game two in the beginning of game three, but you made that presence felt at the end in game three. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, I was trying to uh, be aggressive at the end. I, I knew Lucy's ankle wasn't too great, and so I just said, I'll, I'll start trying to take a lot of court. I'm pretty old to be doing it, but uh, <laughs> I, I try. So I can give it hell for 15 minutes, and I did, and we, we squeaked it out. All right, well, congratulations. Moving on against the Newmans in the gold medal match. You guys get a little bit of a break, so go relax, hydrate, and take it easy. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank All right, you. we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we got our next match here on Championship Court at the Margaritaville USA Pickleball National Championships presented by Pickleball Central.